Engine 5 on scene, heavy fire showing on all sides. Direct exposure to adjacent housing. On a daily um, basis of doing this, you would go out um, and get a group of friends and then get an adult who could drive you, someone over the age of 18. Uh, we would first start by coming to the fire station and getting a GPS and a safety vest and maps. Based on where that map was located in the community, we would then drive to that area and locate the fire hydrants either on the maps or ones we just saw that weren't on the maps. We would then, a couple of us would get out of the car, we would walk up to the fire hydrant and we would take the GPS that we have and we would place it on top of the fire hydrant and count to 10. So we count the 10 seconds for the satellites to locate the GPS and then we press save and in the notes category we mark the GPS with a serial number and um, the number of outlets that you can hook the water hoses up to help out the fire department and then just press mark and that saves all the information and sends it straight to the GPS's and the fire engines. It was uh, brought about by a collaboration with uh, one of the fire chiefs and myself um, with some ideas for Key Club on um, some projects that would help uh, with the community. Um, we, he said that they definitely had a project, that it was a large project, and we didn't know if we wanted to help uh, GPS for about 3,000 fire hydrants in Jonesboro. We were, initially we were starting to, we were planning on doing this when they contacted us. Uh, of course they come out with 75 kids and uh, chaperones to do this, we would have had one or two people. So what they did in nine months probably would have took us a year and a half, two years to do. So as far as a life impact, it could help like at a fire. If we have, like I said, a multiple, uh, a large fire, we have multiple companies come in, multiple hydrants are, are needed. Instead of having to look for a hydrant, we know where they're at immediately, which means we get water to the scene quicker, which means our firefighters can get in and save lives quicker. This station goes off, we come out here, we get on this engine, we're gonna respond, we look at this, our map will automatically go to what they're looking at. There'll be a red dot, that's where we're going. And then, uh, as soon as we got our information done from what the key club's done, these also have hydrants. As well as hydrants and the location, we can also see our units responding. And that way we can kind of coordinate our attack. We're not going to come in the same way or we may need to come around here based on several trucks coming down the Greensboro Road there, for example. The project has endured for the 2013-2014 school year. Uh, with us beginning, um, we had a, you know, a meeting with all stakeholders present to do the planning and the procedures and safety issues. And it began in um, late fall, and then it has endured. We're almost finished with the project. Not all of the hydrants have been completed, but the, the, most of the hydrants have been completed. My favorite part of this project was getting to meet some of our younger Key Club members. Some of these kids that didn't really know about Key Club either got to meet some of the Key Club members and see kind of the positive impact Key Club has had on their life and kind of allowed them and made them interested in Key Club. So I guess my favorite part was really getting to meet new people and kind of share the message of Key Club. If you were going to start this up, I would tell you that it seemed really overwhelming at first when our sponsor came to us as officers and said, hey, we're going to GPS 3000 fire hydrants. We said, excuse us, what? And then she went on to say, um, it's, it'll be okay, I promise, but we have to have it done by the end of the year. And it was one of those kind of like, she just kind of kept throwing information at us, kind of going, this is seeming impossible to us, but when you realize like how many you could actually get in a three hour span, one time we actually got 50, and that was only two of us. So if you think about the number of groups that went out and did it, it's really overwhelming at first, but it, the experience is really rewarding. And when you hear the impact from firefighters and other people in the community who have heard about what you're doing, it makes the process even more rewarding than it was. But it'll be overwhelming at first, but it actually ends up being a lot more fun than you would think it would be.